the system works and there's no leaks. <laughs> it's pumping right now. It's gathering heat. <laughs> Well, it's time we wrap up this liner. I never did fasten down the corners, and I just want the one fold. I don't want multiple folds inside that, so I want it to be nice and smooth. And I don't want water to evaporate under this fold uh, because the lid's going to go on, but it's not going to be in this area. So I'm going to caulk that, and I'm just using some silicone that I have, nothing special. This is way out here in the wood. It's not in the insulation, uh, and that's why the staples can hold. And now you can see I finished off the staples. Well, this piece of rubber is going to be the lid to the tank to prevent evaporation. And what I've done is I've measured out where the pipes are going to penetrate. So this is going to be like the cold water inlet. Over here is where we're going to draw the water out, and then there's two others. So I am cutting them out now, and then I'll roll this up and bring it down to the crawl space. Here's one of the holes that I made. Oh, it looks like I made the hole big. <laughs> Not sure, I'll tape it up with something. <laughs> now, here's the other one for this hole. Yeah, looks like I made them big. I was hoping to make them a little bit smaller and then they'd squeeze down over the pipe. So th this is actually working out okay. I, I was worried I'd be fighting this a lot. <laughs> okay, so now we got one more and uh, this is the dip tube. Uh, so this is where the cold water is going to be drawn up from the tank. So I already soldered this guy. The water is going to come out of that, down to the pump, and then up to the solar collectors. Well great, everything's soldered together, it looks good. Um, I think we can actually add some water now. So over here is a ball valve, and let's see what happens. It's working, it's filling the system. I, I put this pipe in on this side uh, because I wanted to make sure that I could prime the pump. Uh, this particular circulator pump uh, cannot draw water up. Now, water should stay in the dip tube, this U section, even though this will be above the water line. So I dropped in a thermometer into the water and it looks like we're currently reading 58 degrees over here is the controller, and it's a very s simple controller, um, and I'm going to wind up mounting this in this area, but I'm just so excited, I want to see what happens and get it going right away. This temperature sensor is not waterproof, so it can't go in the tank, which would be ideal. Uh, so what I'm going to do is get it close to the tank. I'm going to mount it just up here onto the copper pipe which will conduct the heat from the tank and uh, I'm going to be insulating over it uh, so hopefully we get as close as we can to the, uh, the accurate temperature. Alright, the tank is half full. Uh, we have at least 100 gallons in there now. So I'm going to close this off. This switch is off. Let's just uh, let's check it out and see if it works. So it's plugged in and let's switch it over to auto mode. It turned on. So it's picking up a difference in temperature between this, the panel outside, which is hot, and this sensor, uh, which will eventually read the water temperature once I get it hooked up. So we've got some sun today and that's why the panels are getting warm. Let's check for uh, any leaks. This is where the cold water is pumped up into the panels where it then flows up 
through all of them, picking up some of the sun's warmth. And then it comes down out of that and back in to the crawl space. There it is coming back from the panel. I can see steam coming off of it, that's cool.